name of the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Yeah, I want to thank God for today. Thank you so much for your coming. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, leo ni siku nzuri ambayo Mungu amefanya kwa kila mmoja wetu tarehe 12 mwezi wa saba na tunashukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya matendo yake makubwa katika maisha ya kila mmoja wetu. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, I want to go straight to the word of God and uh, I want to speak about the armor of God. Ama uh, siraha yake Mungu the armor of God and uh, as I speak about a few things maybe about six types uh, uh, of armor uh, I will speak something briefly kidogo about faith because I came to realize that uh, uh, we need to have or to be men and women of faith and especially in the times that we are living in Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana we need to be men and women of faith uh, because it is important it is going to push us to the next level by the grace of God. Let's pray. Our Father and our God, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you for today. I'm so grateful for your blessings. I thank you for yet another opportunity that you've given every one of us as we listen to this message that God you put in my heart today about the armor of God. I want to believe that our lives are going to get to another level when it comes to us being armed and us being ready even for the battles that are out there, for the many uh, plans that the enemy or schemes that the enemy has against us. But I want to thank you because we are in you and we will always be victors. We thank you and we bless you because you're faithful. In Jesus' name we pray and we give thanks. Amen. Amen. Uh, as I said, I want us to look at a scripture that sometimes we read from the book of Ephesians chapter chapter 6, Ephesians chapter 6, uh, from verse 10 to verse 17. And uh, basically I want to speak about the armor of God. And uh, as we all know that the armor is that weapon of war. Amen. That weapon that uh, maybe a soldier uh, can use for them to, you know, to, de to, to defend themselves. And uh, one of the things I want us to understand, church, is that uh, from the scripture, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10, the Bible says, Finally be strong in the Lord and in his power. Verse 11, put on the full armor of God. So that is number one thing I want us to understand. Jumbo la kwanza. That the armor here, I want us to understand it very clearly. It is not from man or from nowhere. It is the armor from God. Because the scripture says, put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. So the armor we are talking about here, it is not the armor that our Kenya defense forces have. Or the armor, you know, ambazo, maybe soldier way to ambaya na linda hapa konazo, not those armor, I mean those armors. But we are speaking about the armor of God. Siraha ambayo, Inatokana na mungu mwenyewe. And I want to, I, I would try to show you some different types of God's armor that we all need to share or we all need to have. And uh, also get to know the purpose of an armor is uh, to help us to take our stand against schemes of the devil. That's the purpose of the armor. And uh, that is seen in verse 11 of Ephesians chapter 6. Put on the full armor of God. So that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. So it is not about really fighting for people, I mean against other people, but it is basically against the devil's schemes. Oh, yeah. So the fight that we are fighting, it is not about your neighbor, it is not about uh, maybe your, 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 your friend, it is against the devil's schemes. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Uh, last time we said... Uh, that is when, when you speak about the, the you know, taking uh, 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 your stand against the, the devil's schemes, it is, it, it, we are talking about the warrior's armor. You know, ile siraha ya anaye pigana vita. And I said, one of the things we need to realize, church, is that in every day's life, we are in a way, in a, we, are, we are always in a war, baby. You know, kuna vita ambazo, we are fighting every now and then. Some spiritual battles, maybe from your family, maybe uh, right now in our nation, 
We are fighting an enemy that we cannot see. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Coronavirus, as they have always been putting it, it is an enemy we cannot see. So this enemy that we cannot see, we fight him uh, through, you know, taking the stand. Taking our stand in Christ. Yeah. And the Bible continues to say, for our struggle is not against flesh and blood. Exactly. Corona is not against flesh and blood to some extent for me. I don't know. I stand to be collected. But against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. One thing also I want you to understand, church, is that the fight that we are fighting against, it is not something that is so good or in a, you know, in a nice place. No, the environment has been well set for us to fight. We are fighting against, uh, uh, the scripture says, against the powers of this dark world. Praise the name of the Lord. Let me tell you, the world that we are living in, the, the, the things that are happening, they are a bit so scary. Somebody preaching and uh, he was talking about the sexuality issues that we are having with our teenagers. That is something that has not been heard before. Things are getting a bit tough. Mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. Things are getting up in our neighborhood, in our nation. Wherever we go, things are not so nice. Mm -hmm. But then what can we do? Tutasimama too, we love to Shanghai. And then we are like, Serikari Saidia. Serikari Saidia. No. We are going to do something. Mm -hmm. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, kuna nivita that we have to fight. There's a war that every one of us has to be involved. Mm -hmm. And this time round, we need not to fear. You know, there are some soldiers or there are some people who go, you know, they are going to fight an enemy and somehow they realize that the enemy is so strong, the enemy is well armed, and they are like, Kapana, let me just take a back seat. But this is not a time to take the back seat, church. Mm -hmm. This is a time that we need all of us to stand mm -hmm. and every one of us take their possession. Mm -hmm. Because there's something every one of us can do. Mm -hmm. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Uh, uh, verse 13, therefore put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you know, the purpose and the reason why, you know, Paul here was encouraging this child to the Ephesians child, and he was telling them, you know, you need, you, need, you need to put that full armor of God. And as I said last time, it is the full armor of God. And I'm going to give you about six types of them so that we can really be prepared that every war that we go, you know, every fight that we have to engage ourselves in, we are going to be ready. Otherwise, we will lose the battle. Mm -hmm. Praise the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And I'm, not, I, I'm sure none of us wants to get into a battle that they are ready to lose. You want to win. And we can because Christ is in us. Oh, yes. if you are mm -hmm. And so he says, Therefore put on the full armor of God. Full, not half, not that. The full armor of God. So that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to start your ground. Oh, yes. if you are that means the days of evil are coming. Or the days of evil are already here with us. Yeah. And we can't just sit and, 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 and sympathize, you know, to answer kuji, kuji, kuji hurumia. Uh -uh. We have to do something. We have to wake up. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. We have to be soldiers. Mm -hmm. We are soldiers of Christ. Yes. And soldiers are not fearful. Sometimes the enemy may seem to be so strong, but there has not been a combat. He's going to, to fight us. You know, he, he's, he's going to kill us. No, no, no. We just need to stand our ground. Actually, the scripture says, when you put on your full armor, you, be, you will be able to start your ground. And that means, where I am, even if the enemy, you know, Atakama, Atarusha, whatever kind of a nama or a weapon that he's going to throw, I will be strong because I am ready. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. So after you have stood your ground, you have done, and after you have done everything to start, start from bed. Now, I want to give you about six uh, arms, I mean, uh, uh, types of God's armor that have been put in the scripture very fast, and then I concentrate on one for a few minutes, and then uh, we will be done. Now the Bible says, verse 14, we are in Ephesians chapter 6, and Verse 14, stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist. Praise the name of the Lord. 
Stand firm with the belt of truth. Bwana situe sana. Hapa ni ukweli, the truth. And let me tell you, in the spiritual battles or fights that we can engage ourselves in, we are likely to lose if we don't walk in truth. Lazima tukue wa kweli. Praise the name of the Lord. It is not me saying, it is not me thinking, it is a scripture. The Bible says, stand firm then with the belt of truth. Kazi ya mshipi ni kukaza. You know, some, most of us men, eh? It's, it's rare for you to see a man a or a trouser without a, 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 a belt. You know, it keeps you comfortable. You know, kuna wakati unaweza toka kwa nyumba as a man and uh, those who are here mm-hmm. can can bear me witness. And then umefika mahali and then you're like seen a belt. Two things will happen or three. One, you either go back and get one uh, or get get your belt. Two, you either buy another one or utakaa tu bila but you are so much uncomfortable. No, the the, the, the choice is yours. <laughs> you either go back or you either pay the price and buy another one, or you just stay and you just be uncomfortable. So truth, it gives us, we are comfortable when we speak the truth. Yami, mm-hmm. yeah, how, uh, you, 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 you are comfortable that how to ni uh, am I, am I, I'm not disturbed even. Sometimes you realize if you don't speak truth about something, because you want to, you know, unataka kutoka tu hapo, or you just want to get your way. You realize that if you don't speak the truth, of course if you lie, in a way your conscience tells you, I did do right. So you are not comfortable yourself. Praise the name of the Lord. And let me tell you, church, as leaders, as the body of Christ, we need to be men and women who walk by the truth of God. Amen. Note, as I began, I said, the armor that we're talking about it is of God. Yes. Yes. And as I'll be finishing, I'll say, or maybe I can even say now, but I'd eventually forget, that the armor we are talking about, if it is of God, then we can pray to God and He can help us to walk in truth. Yes. Yes. We can pray to Him. God, sometimes I told you here, there's some believers, and I know maybe you also know them, hope you're not one of them, who speak or who walk a life of lies. So how silaha moja ya 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 ya, ya silaha moja ya kuweza kupiga na vita vyo vyote hawana and they are likely to lose. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And that is where someone can go and bribe. Na akienda mahali pengine atasema mimi I did bribe. Let's be men and women who walk in truth. The other thing is the breastplate uh, with the breastplate of righteousness in place. Lazima utakatifu. You know, hali ya uungu ikuwe ndani yetu. Righteousness has to be part of us for us to win this battle. I don't know what kind of battle you're going through. I don't know. Every one of us, in a way, we go through many battles in life. Maybe business-wise, maybe in your family. Uh, name them. But when we're going to purpose and I'm going to walk in righteousness, I'm going to be right, in other words. I will be right. I will live and I will purpose to please my God by the way I live. Be sure God will not let you down. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. God will not let you down. The Bible says in the book of Matthew, is it 6 verse 33? Yes. We need to first seek the kingdom of God and its righteousness. Utakatifu wake. And everything else shall be added unto us. So when we seek God first in righteousness, then every battle that comes, we are sure of victory. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. The other thing is, we need to be ready, you know, uh, in, 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 in verse, uh, verse 15. And with your feet fitted with the readiness, uh, uh, with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. Readiness 
of the gospel of peace. And this tells me there are people who will, not, who will preach the gospel of division or the gospel of, uh, you know, of, of, of some other ill intentions. But then for us as the believers, we are called, you know, to be ready with the gospel of peace. Tukue na habari jema. Tukue watu ambao wako tayari kukutoa ama kupeleka habari jema. Do you know, they defeated the enemy by the ones of their mouth. Let me tell you, we can defeat the enemy by the words that are coming from our mouths. When we go and witness Christ, and let me tell you, the enemy can also hear. And when we witness Christ, our God will always make sure that he will also be there for us. When we are going through a battle or some situation, because we stood with the truth, we stood with the peace of the gospel of peace, that is, he's going to help us going to help us and make us you know win every battle in this life one us if you were son the other the other the other the other uh, uh, type of armor is uh, in addition to all this that is verse 16 take up the shield of faith praise the name of the Lord take up the shield of faith imani lazima tushikengao hallelujah I'll speak briefly about that. Let me just jump it. I'll get back to that. The fifth one is the helmet of, of, of salvation. You know, in addition to this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Uh, verse 17, take the helmet of salvation. You know, Ile Kofia, you know, all of us, I know we've come a, a, across a helmet, yeah? Ile Kofia Mbayo, Wajenzi wanava iwazuie accident maybe from some falling object on top or from wherever you've seen our askaris those who go to fight you know anti riot police they have they have the the helmets you know the the the, the, the people who ride uh, motorbikes you know they also have uh, the helmets to protect them from any danger that may come from uh, from an external force praise the name of the Lord yeah. so salvation. It, 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 it protects us. I want to believe this. It protects oh, us. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You receive Christ. Let me tell you, you are protected. You are a different person from that person who does not have Christ in them. And so Christ, when he is in us, we are, you know, he, he protects us. The even if stones can be, you know, thrown from a distance or even from a close distance, I'm telling you, we will not be hurt. Na ndiyo tunaitaji kupata kristo sana Saat hata mawe ikirushwa Hata matusi ikirushwa Hata dihaka zikirushwa We will not be scared We will not fight back Because hata wakizirusha As long as I have salvation The salvation of Christ is in me The grace of salvation is in me I will not be hurt I will not allow to be hurt Because I know Even if they call me a witch And I am not You know when they call me a witch it does not mean that I'm a witch. I know I am a son. I know I am a son of God. Yeah. I am a child of God. Yeah. Praise the name of Jesus. Yeah. The last one is, this is also very, very, very important. It is the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. The sword, you know, ule upanga. I like that. The sword of the spirit, upanga waro. Hallelujah. Amen. The sword. I mean, them in the days, the, you know, before the guns came, eh, they used to fight with the sword. Eh? Yeah. You know, they make noise and uh, maybe ujuzi to fight with those swords for, for them to kill or maybe to, to win the battle against their enemies. But then here, the, you know, the, the, the word of God is telling us uh, another armor that we need to have is the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. In other words, we need to put the word of God first in us. No wonder David says, I will put the, your word in my heart. Hallelujah. Yes. That I will not sin against you. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, church. We are living in days whereby it is not very easy 
to just take a lot of your time to study the word of God. Why? You wake up in the morning, you have to go to work. And, uh, and there is so much hassle, and you have to get back to the house. There are some other responsibilities waiting for you, especially for the, uh, our mothers. But then, that does not mean that I can't find time with my God. Yes. And I've always said this, there are so many ways that God speaks to us. Not there are so many ways on how God speaks. God can speak through dreams. God can speak through people. God can speak through situations as they come. God can speak to you through many ways. And he can also speak to you through the word of God. But one of the areas that you can be sure it is God who spoke. You're not even confused. The way that you can be very sure, 100% sure that God has spoken to you, it is through the word. This one you cut out. Sometimes you can come to me with a dream. Maybe you had a dream and then you're like, you want an interpretation. You can come and I'll give you the interpretation. Maybe the way I understand it. And then by the time you leave, I'm like, was that, is that, is this a kweli? Or maybe someone tells you or you meet with somebody and then he's like, kindly give so and so something. And then he tells you it is God. And then you're like, kama ni mungu, siya ke niongeresha kwanza, si you would have spoken to me first. You know, you would have. But with the word of God, when you read it for yourself, mm -hmm. it is the voice of God. Oh, yeah. You cannot doubt this. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So in the fight that we are fighting, in the war that we are in, brother, when we have the sword of the Spirit, and you see the sword, the sword cut across. In a cut and this other side. So as it goes this way, it cuts. As it gets back, Amen. May God help us to be people who will study the word. Amen. May God help me every morning, every day, I will find time mm. to study the word of God. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And that is when we are going to speak the word of God even to the enemy when he comes across us. Amen. Now, uh, those are six. I, want, I said I want to speak something briefly about faith. Which is so important. The Bible says, In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith. Shield of faith. With which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Praise the name of the Lord. Allow me to take faith like water. You see the scripture in Samuel Pomba? With faith, you will be able to extinguish all the flaming arrows. To extinguish is to put off. We all know that. To extinguish is to put off. And 